Hey guys, I wanted to show you a quick demo of how to use a uh, Chrome extension that we found, and we actually modified it a little bit to make it work um, to change the aspects of your dashboard. So as you see, I'm going along, and you see the little green outlines. That means that if I select it and then change uh, a property, it will actually change it live. So it's kind of like uh, CSS Hero, but it's just for uh, your dashboard. So here's the deal. Um, to start, what you'll do is you'll paste in, not that, you'll paste in uh, a dashboard. So here's one that we've already created. And you'll see it's you know changed a bunch of stuff. Um, but more importantly, uh, and the reason why you need to start with this is that there are some selectors that this little thing cannot select. Like even though that's going to select that, it, when you style it, it won't actually make make what you want to do. So here we've already pre-made them. So you do like highlights color two or color one, which is green. And now if you go over to the fill and change it, you can now change it, and it magically changes. Um, and if you were then, when you're done, of course, you just go back to the advanced, copy everything, and uh, put it into your agency CSS. Um, and then also, when you're changing the menu area, that's one other area that you can't change just by clicking on it. So there, you'll go over to, like, and again, just pay attention to what's highlighting. And then you'll select it, like so and then make your change here. So I guess this one, maybe you want to change the background color and see you're going to change the background color of that whole area. And then you might want to just, there you go. That would be the same one. There you go. Anyway, you would just copy and make sure that the, the number is matched. The easiest way we do that would be take a look at the code and copy it around. But anyway, there you go. I think it's pretty cool and uh, makes it a lot easier to modify your CSS.